In this video, I'm going to show you how to import your Amazon site build onto your own web hosting. Now, the first thing you need for that is a clean installation of WordPress. If you're not sure how to do that, then check with your hosting provider or review the video from earlier in this tutorial on that subject. This is what a basic installation of WordPress looks like on our SiteGround test account. Now, to begin the process of importing uh, our Amazon affiliate site build onto your web hosting, we need to go back to the WordPress dashboard and we'll need to go to plugins and then go to add new. And what you want to add here is the all-in-one WP migration plugin. But if you just type in the word migration, it'll automatically search. And as you can see, we've already installed and activated the plugin before we started making this video. So what we do then is we go over to the left-hand menu and we go to import. Now the site build is a separate file that you need to upload to your WordPress dashboard. It's linked beneath this video. It's about 70 megabytes in size. And to start that process, you simply click on import from, choose file. We're going to go to our Amazon site build. We're going to choose the file we want to use. And we're going to click on open. And as you can see, it immediately starts importing all the data onto the site. And it says stop import, but if at all possible, don't interrupt the data as it's importing. And I'm just going to pause the video really quickly to allow this to complete. And as you can see now, the site import has just completed. Now there is a warning here. It says the import process will overwrite your website, including the database, media, plugins, and themes. Please ensure that you have a backup of your data before proceeding to the next step. And in plain English, what that means is that if, if you proceed to the next step, and this is a live site that you are currently using, the build data will override everything on your site, all your posts, all your media, including all your users. So please make sure you have a complete backup of everything before you go any further. In our case, we're going to click on proceed. It's going to take a couple of moments to run through this. And as you can see now, it says it's finished. So the last steps in the process are to save your permalink structure or to review the plugin. We can leave reviewing the plugin until later on. If we click on review permalink structure, what it's going to do is bring us back out to a login screen. Now on this screen, we are going to use the test login for this site, which is the username of Niall and the password of P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. And we click on login. And if we just check our post name, or rather our permalink structure, we can see it's set to post name, which is what I typically leave it set at. And we click on save changes. Now let's take a quick look at how the imported site looks. We go back to our dashboard, click on finish. Then we'll have to come out here and just go to visit site. So as you can see, we have the basic outline of your new Amazon affiliate site with some elements missing. So to get the site looking exactly as it does on our, our own internal demo site, you will need to install and activate premium plugins especially Elementor Pro and Generate Press Premium. If you don't, you're not going to get the same layout that you've seen on the our own Authority Hacker internal demo site. Now, there's one final step we need to go through, and it's that we need to remove the test user, the user name of Niall that's in there already. But before we do that, we actually need to create a new administrator role, a new administrator user rather for the site. So I'm just going to pause the video quickly. I'm going to create that account. Okay. And this is the new administrator user just about ready to go. So you need a username, you need an email address, first name, last name, you need to create a password. The thing to watch out for here is that you make sure and make this an administrator. So if we go ahead and click on add new user, and once we've done that, it brings us back to our user administration panel. And what we need to do here then now that we have a new administrator account ready to go, we're going to go choose the Nile account. Or rather, sorry, we will need to very quickly log out. And then when we're at the login screen, we need to type in our new administrator username, password, click on login, give it a couple of moments. We then need to go back to users, all users, and we then need to delete the Nile account. And the reason why you're deleting the Nile account, the Nile user, is because 
anybody who knows that you use this build or even suspects that you use this build for your own site would also know basically that you have um, a default username of Noel and a default password of password, which is why you need to make sure you absolutely get rid of this username. So we click on delete. We're then going to attribute all content to the new username, the administrator name that we created earlier on. Click on confirm deletion. And then we are back to our user administration panel with just our default user and our site is where we left it. And you're now good to go. So again, to get the site looking how you want to look exactly the same way as uh, the, the one we set up ourselves, you will need to install and activate Elementor Pro and generate press premium. But apart from that, we've reached the end of the process. Hope you enjoyed the video.